Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lecture, I'll share with you how to do customer maintenance in SQL accounting software. Inside the SQL accounting software, you can see this part is accounting and this part is stock. So for today's lesson, we go to customer, maintain customer. So we go to new. You just type in your customer name. For example, your customer is called Syntax Enterprise. Okay. Control account is for accounting setting. It's already been, been default to uh, 300.000. So we just leave it. The code will go automatically. So we can leave it also. You can see that the system will, it will be automatically assigned a code to this customer, which is 300S0001. S because the company starts with the letter S. So you can categorize your customer. By default, it's only one selection. So if you want to create a category for your customer, you can just go to the three dot button. It will bring you to the creation of that field. Go to new. For example, I want to categorize this customer as my software customer. Sorry. So I should put a um, software. So this will put software customer. So I can have hardware. So this hardware customer with this I will have the selection of software and hardware customer over here you just key in your customer address Contact person as attention. Phone number. Phone number two. You can put as the time phone number. Fax number. The email. Okay, so you can create selection for area agent. Currency I'll discuss in future lesson. Credit terms. Thirty days, sixty days. You also can create. Uh, this one is a very important part, so I'll discuss in future lesson. Statement aging price tag. Statement. I always want my customer to select as open item. Open item means when you print out statement for customer, all the previous outstanding invoice will be show invoice by invoice. It will not be lump sum up as a brought forward figure. A lot of customer before this they are brought forward because it's easier. It will just have a lump sum amount, but later on it's very easy to have argument because if the customers want to know which invoice that have not knocked off, which invoice have not, off, you need to print out a lot of report to prove to them. So that's why you just select all item, any outstanding invoice will be printed out individually inside the statement. So open item for statement is a must. You can have credit control. Credit control over here, you can set, for example, credit limit is 30,000 and it apply to invoice. So when your outstanding invoice reach 30,000, it will be blocked. Okay, you can put some note over here. Uh, normally you can set as like, as a 
very basic CRM system. For example, you can put first meeting with customer go smooth. So when you keep track of the activities between you and the customer, later on if there is any new staff who want to know the history of this customer they can just go back to meeting customer check on this customer note so they'll know what is the status and things like that so sales tax most of the company is not using sales tax sales is, is basically for manufacturing company so uh, we can skip this part there's a very interesting features over SKL is attachment okay The user will use attachment to attach maps of the customer or agreement with the customer. This is because if let's say you store outside the system, at any point of time you want to get the map, you need to go to look around inside individual folder and things like that. But what if you just attach for the customer? So I go to document. So I go to, for example, let's put this map. So next time, when you want to check the map for a particular customer, you just go into SQL accounting software, look for this customer, and open the attachment. So imagine any document that related to this customer, you can always just attach it will not actually attach inside the data, but it will just create a link to the file. Meaning that if you delete the power file or you move the file to another destination, the link will be broke. So you will not be able to get back. Okay. So this is how to maintain a customer. Oh, sorry. Uh, branch. If the customer has uh, other branches or other delivery address what you can do is you can just click at the plus sign put let's say pj branch maintain the information as normal or even like accounting department account department contact person so you know next time when you want to change your payment, you can just go for their account department and look for Miss Liu. You even can put boss house. Mr. Wong. So whenever there is a festive season, Chinese New Year, Hari Raya, you can always send a hamper to the boss house directly. So this is uh, just maintain as many contact address as possible there's no problem save so as you can see when you go to mini customer again you have your customer okay you can contact me with this information if you have any queries that's all for today's lesson thank you